Hey YouTube. <clears throat> okay, I had, I guess, well, not really a hiccup, but uh, is focusing. Anyhow, you see now, this is about the first, I think it's going to be a fairly sunny day since I put up the third panel. Uh, and as you can see, it's not really putting much into the batteries. Um, I have uh, 80 volts coming in. The batteries are at 52.9. Uh, putting about 0 0.9, 0 0.8 amps into the batteries. Right now, I disconnected the load. I don't have anything hooked to this now. <clears throat> this battery voltage was just kept dropping, dropping, dropping. It never could build up and good. And then that was even turning this charger on and letting it, you know, do a charge. Um, so, I, since I had them in series, the batteries in series for a little bit, and, uh, they charged them a few times. I never, I haven't yet equalized them. I'm gonna wait a little bit later today, and uh, hopefully, if there's enough sun, I'm gonna do an equalization. But what I did, I checked the uh, specific gravity. What did I do with it? Yeah, of the batteries with this, and all the batteries showed up good. Even two of the free batteries I got. But two of the free batteries I got, which I was kind of questioning them, even from the get-go, because they were so low. They wouldn't even, one of them had like a cell, wouldn't even float the uh, needle. A little needle, a little arm pops up. And like two of them, it was just like, you know, Dan, we couldn't even read a number on it. It didn't even get it up to read a number. And I also got a load checker, and I checked the load. It... It really didn't show that it was bad on the load because it, it would just show weak. But checking with this, it was like they were dead, you know. Uh, and they seemed to be, I think they were why my batteries couldn't ever. It's like as soon as it would get up to a charge voltage, as soon as the charger kicked off, it would drop down, which I expected. But then it would just drop too far down, you know what I mean? So anyway, I went and bought two new batteries. And, uh,. I'll go outside and show you that. Okay, here's my batteries. As you can tell, these are the new Trojans that I got yesterday. Um, wish I'd called around more. Well, I didn't even know that the Trojans were supposed to be that much better of a battery until I got a, already had these Duracells bought. I bought these at Sam's. They were like $85 a piece. And, you know, they show the specs, they show to be a good battery, but from what everything, everybody tells me, the Trojans are still a lot better battery. So, from now on, I'll definitely be buying Trojans. And I actually found a dealer in uh, my area, anybody around here probably has heard of it, batteries uh, specialist. That's where to go to get your batteries, <laughs> even car batteries, man. they got some good prices. But these were $101 a piece for a T105. Um... Pretty sure it's the RE series, but anyway. Um, but I did the, uh, like I said, I did the, tested the specific gravity of all of them. And uh, these two showed good. But the other, these two down here, <coughs> both of them have one cell that's very, very low. Um, or don't even hardly read at all on this. You know, maybe I could go through and equalize the batteries and bring them back. I don't know. I still hadn't decided if I'm going to take them. Because there's $25 core charge on each one. So that's 50 bucks if I take these back. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should keep trying to charge them and uh, put them on my little battery uh, desulfator. And see if I can bring them back or if it'd just be better to take them back and get my 50 bucks. You know, I don't know. But they were free. You know, so out of these four batteries here, I still only have, if I take those back and get my core charge, I still only have $200 in all four batteries. So, or those four batteries anyway. Can't complain about that. that that's still a good deal. Uh, anyway, so, and I can tell the difference already. Uh, the battery voltage is staying up. Once it charges up, it, it don't drop as low as it was dropping. I'm just, I'm thinking those two batteries... In that pallet jack, they were stacked too. I mean, you know, they wasn't touching, but they was like, when you pulled the cover back, 
there were two on top and then there were two on the bottom on this rusty little shelf that swung out and I don't and I think these were the two was on the bottom and they never checked the water I think they got run dry maybe got topped off eventually and then they got run dry again I think it, they just killed those two batteries and the two that were on top were easy to get to they probably kind of half took care of them I don't know so I still can't complain like I said 200 bucks for four Trojan batteries hey no complaints there but they say it's still not a good day but uh the batteries are charging a little bit but you know i guess i'm gonna have to wait till a nice sunny day before i do the equalization um anyway just kind of a little update had a little, little bit of a hiccup i mean not really kind of I was glad to get any of them. Even if just one of them had worked, it would have been, you know, good. So, anyway, just a little update. System's doing good. Doing better now. I got two fresh batteries in there. And uh, I'll know where to go to get to build my second bank to run in parallel to this one. So, just a little battery update, I guess. <laughs> See you, YouTube.